Hello. Okay. I'm gonna talk to like uh, YouTube and stuff as well. I'm so nervous doing an official video. Had to go get a couple of beers. I'm drinking beer and I already drank uh, one beer. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through my build order and try to talk about why I do things. Um, and uh, I'm guessing there's no right or wrong. It's just depends on your playstyle, I guess. Uh, and yeah, I'm going. I'm I usually play on harder difficulty, but uh, for the video's sake, I don't want to get debated by a wave and then uh, die on like nightmare or higher than nightmare. So I'm gonna stick with veteran. Because I think a lot of people are struggling at Veteran and Horrific. Uh, so, let me just take a sip of beer and get some liquid courage, I guess. I bring an end to the By birthright or blood. Okay, I never done anything like this before, so. What I usually do is start by building a house. I'm pausing here. So I'm gonna pause a little bit while I talk with, about stuff. So, the house is 90 gold. So I have 100 gold. The next thing I want to... Yeah, yeah I like the foam. So, since this is 90 gold and we have 10 gold left, that start, means we start with 100 gold. Since we get 177 gold, that pick is not going to be enough to build the next thing we want to build, and that's wood, like a lumber mill. So that's why I start with a house immediately, and then I start checking for good wood lines and the different stone nodes that are around my base. You mean your grace? This is a very lucky stone, so I start clearing around that. And we clear a little extra, so I keep just clearing out uh, until I have the tick. This is a good enough stone no uh, wood node, but I think I'm gonna go down here because it's even better. So I usually do when I see it getting close, I will pull one of the soldiers away. So I have the vision, and I'm gonna go and continue clearing up here. And save him down here. And get ready. 18 is good enough. I usually want to have somewhere above 15, 16. Because I want I want the I want two lumber mills to be as close to to four, uh, 40 wood as possible. And here we get another money tick. Let me pause. Here we got get another money tick. So again, hello, Okwal. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So here again, then we have two hundred fifty-three gold. We're gonna get a hundred and eighty-three. That means that no matter what we do we're gonna be able to put uh, down our our second lumber mill. So that means I'm building another house just because I can, to have it done. So I don't uh, run the risk of being uh, capped. Uh, while, while trying to build other shit. Okay, there we have a bot, I guess. On my way. And... This is good. And I go away here, go up here. You dare question me. And we have another 18. So that's good. We, we're, we're gonna build another quite soon, but that's good enough for me to like stay at. What? 17, wasn't that 18? Okay. And we have one really good stone node and one average. So, what we want to do now 
is to build two houses and cap this shit because we're gonna get with these two lumber mills together it probably won't have time to finish up here until the tick but that's gonna be over 30 so since we have over 30 we're gonna build a stone node as soon uh, a stone mine as soon as we can and again like we're waiting for two ticks and we don't want to get ca pop capped so that's why i'm building two stones there Precisely. and we have some iron we're gonna wait for one more node uh, one more tick i mean this is good and this is defendable And we have another stone. Well, that's nice. It's funny that I'm having to like sh showcase a good map. So, okay. So, since the wood is running behind, I needed 30 wood to build the stone mine. And since the wood was running behind and I needed uh, I needed more wood and I get over 30 wood for the next tick. I don't want to run the risk of wasting gold, so that's why I'm building a food uh, gathering hut there. And some beer. Fucking, I'm shaking, I'm so nervous. Because it's an, like so official, all of a sudden. Very well. And I'm gonna go down here and build it on the, the better stone, because the first one I want to have for... A longer time like as early as possible okay we're gonna take oh, this stone <laughs> That's as mine. the next one because this is easy to grab Ah, it's just if I for if you if you see me forgetting something, feel free to just add it in chat or question me in chat. Uh, it's just like I can't have uh, since like I uh, my mind works a bit different. I can't like write down stuff beforehand because that would just fuck me up and I would like forget even more. So if I seem to forget something, uh, you just say it in chat. But I have beer, so it's fine. Right. Okay, so since this is a pretty important area, I, it's not needed on this difficulty, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Because both... Okay, so both ticks... I saw that both ticks were coming in at the same time, and I would have the money for it. That's why I built the tower. If I didn't have it at the same time, I would have waited. And on this difficulty, you could probably get away with just clearing a little bit, and then just building it without the tower. You mean and now we go down here. Race. And we're gonna lose that. That's stuff that happens. It's kind of fine. It's not the best, but... If you really want to micro, you can sell that. I don't really care that much, but you could sell it uh, before it crashes. Make the call. So, okay. What now? So, what I like to do at towers is placing two walls for extra protection. Uh, we rebuild this, so we're a little bit behind, As but... One thing that's like you... On this difficulty, you have time and room for errors. Especially if you pause. I never play with pause normally. Um, I'm Like I said, I'm playing on uh, custom difficulty, harder than Nightmare, usually. And this build is a bit based on that. So I'm gonna come to a, like a, what do you call? A road crossing. Where you can do two things. But I'm gonna explain why I do the one thing and why I'm more comfortable with doing that. Uh, 
Onward. During the night time you can actually split away a soldier to have like close to your houses and stuff so you don't ha run the risk of losing as much for shit for from random roamers. <laughs> With me. Uh, I'm two steps ahead of you. Okay. We're on the verge where we kind of want more wood. But I'm gonna build two more houses. Three more houses, actually. Three more houses. Because I don't want to get popcapped for what's to come. Uh, and so I'm going to build the wood shop. But before that, I want to have enough. I want to have enough food for the heap upgrade. And I'm going to build another lumber yard to make this a bit quicker. This is shit, but I'm, I'm going to take the 12. Something for me. So now we have 12 here. That's fine because we need 10 for the woodworkers. Um, so, for the first wave. The like uh, dividing road here in the build that I was talking about. And I know that some people in the chat even that are here. They usually go military. Mainly. Like, uh, for the first wave, even on dif harder difficulties. I kind of feel, for me, that... Uh, it's kind of a coin toss. So, you're gonna need a lot of stone in the beginning to build archers and uh, infantry... What's it even called? A barracks. But, personally... Like, you're gonna need maybe the same amount of stone to build the woodworking uh, thing. What's it even called? Wood workshop, right? Yeah, the wood workshop. No, you don't need it here to build the wood workshop, but you're gonna need it to build the towers. So I'm gonna research ballista towers and build ballistas. Because you're gonna want it for the... Second wave at least on this difficulty on harder difficulties you want it on the first wave But you could do archers as well, but then you need like somewhere between Depending on how good you micro your archers in the towers you're gonna need 12 to 20 uh, Archers maybe 14 to 20 archers the thing is like if you have the archers you kind of want to protect them So you're gonna need to spend a lot of money and wood on the actual towers and a lot of money on the actual archers and the same amount of stone on the archers that you do for like either five to six ballistas or four to five ballistas plus one tower with two archers in it if that makes any sense uh, so it's kind of a coin toss what you want to do on harder difficulties, I like to do uh, doing the wood workshop first and unlocking that so I have it done. And it gets easier to transition into more research for the higher tech that you're gonna need on the harder waves. So, did that uh, come across logical? People in chat? It's all mine anyway. No choke point. I'm on it. And I'm keep I, I keep exploring the map like So Now I need wood and gold and to speed this up I'm gonna do this just so I can get it done so I'm a little Ready bit of ahead And I'm keeping uh, like continuing to explore the map now we want to build a wood workshop 
So I'm not building any units because the hero and the soldiers are so strong that you're gonna be able to clear most shit around your base. The only time you need to be careful is when you start hitting the people with like the big boys with the axes. And this is a dead end. Okay. So, I have the hop numbers for this, so I'm just placing this immediately. And now, until this and this is done, I'm just gonna eco. So I'm waiting for a tick or two. The thing you want to keep in mind is you want to save 300 gold to start the ballista upgrade immediately. We're gonna be uh, like ahead here because we have an extra day. On harder difficulties you have one day less. Upgrade complete. Yes. So I'm doing Speak. another gathering hut. So are people in chat following? Is it logical oh, so far? <laughs> That's mine. So I'm key binding this to you number five. And place. if people don't know, it's control five while it while it's marked. And we keep building houses and uh, gather huts. Me. You dare question me. What? This is a dead end. Uh, we're gonna go down here and check, I think. This is done, we start research. Now we're close to the stone cap. What I like to do, if I have the option, is to build this. The thing here is that we're gonna lose out, so I'm gonna upgrade the first upgrade, because we're gonna lose out on this tick otherwise. Now we want, need to wait a little bit longer. So the upgrade for the archers is always good to get if you feel like your stone income is decent enough. Now I'm gonna go back with a soldier to have it free to encounter any... Nah, I didn't say that. Does it, in I don't even know, does it increase, I thought it only increased the gold capacity actually. But does it increase the other capacity as well? At uh, 25, yeah. Yeah, I missed that, I didn't even know that. I'm just playing normally. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, all credibility is lost. No. All credibility is lost. Don't listen to me, I'm a fucking noob. I just get that to get more money. Like, that's the only reason. So we're maxed out on Upgrade wood, complete. but we have 50 wood, so it's fine. Speak. What I want to do now is I want to start the ballistas. Because it just finished. And we still have money to get the warehouse. So we're getting our then second warehouse and we're taking the stone and the wood together. So one, like, you, you want to take your best stone, right, and if you can, incorporate the wood as well. What is it? Since we already found an iron. Our buildings are under attack. Oh. Okay then, just as I moved away. God damn it. Yep. So since we already found iron, we're gonna take that iron, but we're gonna do this stone before, because you don't need any iron until the second uh, second wave or on in this difficulty you kind of don't need any iron until the third wave at all i have to remember that i can repair here which i will keep is under attack okay for me so roamers is uh, a really fun part of the game 
My cup's almost empty. Upgrade complete. We're doing that. We can do this uh, iron immediately. So I'm doing it, but you don't need to. But it's good to get it if you... If you have the option. So now I'm gonna remove a lot of Hog of War. And go the Stone Brazer, because we kinda want to have some more visibility. What do you want? And we keep echoing. I'm leaving a somewhere to run here. I think you can run through that. I, I hope you can run through that. Otherwise, I will be ashamed. And be sure to use the thing like to remove the soldiers when they get hurt. Let them reg. We stand there, we let them kill the people that are roaming in. So here I'm gonna build another warehouse because uh, it's both the good stone and the iron and we need both of them. So it's really good. You dare question me. Upgrade complete. Ready. That guy can explore. I don't think I think this is blocked anyway. So I think it's whatever, to be honest. Okay, more beer. So I'm not building any units so far. You can, but I'm focusing more on equoing now. Because I know, like if I get my gold up and my stone up even more, the first wave is gonna be such a cakewalk, it's insane. Uh, looking at the map, this has the biggest space, and space is a very important resource, so I'm gonna head up here. And get ready to clear this out. The research is done. So I'm gonna put that here, to light up this area. I'm also gonna put it... Uh, down here to light up that area. I'm ready. Keep track of your soldiers so you don't lose them. We kind of want to do a cheeky explore here and check what's over here if there is more iron. I shall lead. So is everyone doing good today? On my way. Okay, so it's not. So, this is not as good as I thought. We're gonna have space for two farms up here, kinda. Uh, hopefully one of these is a dead end. But we have more stone, and more stone is never a bad thing. But we're starting to check up here. Yeah. I was like, I, th I lost my second soldier for a second. <laughs> That's mine. You mean your grace? So, since I'm this way ahead on this difficulty, so I'm not bashing anyone playing on this difficulty. Like, don't take it like that. But since I'm that ahead that I am, I'm gonna start doing farms uh, already. To have it unlocked, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna start saving money around this tick over here during the night. So the thing to think about now is, okay, so we're gonna build ballistas. We're gonna build ballistas, and we're gonna do it very soon. We want five or six ballistas, unless we get a tower with one or two archers in it, which we can do. I'm gonna say fuck it because I'm gonna keep clearing it, uh, clearing the rest of the map. Uh, with stone brazers and with the uh, hunting party that I have. So I'm gonna do six ballistas. Six times two uh, pop is uh, 12. 
So we want 12 pop. So that, since we don't want to wait for the actual uh, farm upgrade, we're gonna do a sneaky thing if we can fit it somewhere there. And then build a couple of more houses. So we're ahead. So we don't have to think about it. So this is a very big stone. It's gonna board us to, on the gravy train here. I'm just hoping I'm not missing anything vital, but I, I don't think so. Like, I think... From what I've heard... I think most people that play on lower difficulties that are struggling, they don't push, like, and explore and take over the map. Like, the more you push, the more you can invest into armies, and the more you can uh, push. So it's like a cycle. I think a lot of people that are struggling on normal or veteran or even horrific, they take over very little. So, I think the amount I have explored is probably around day 5 or 6 for some people. On my terms. And I think having the guts to explore a bit more my is an important thing. Okay, so we have the knight here. We haven't unlocked that yet. Okay, I'm going to build a couple of more houses here. That's only two, but that... I think that gets us where we're going. You dare question me. Upgrade complete. I'm two steps ahead of you. So these are hurt. I'm, I'm going back with them here. And I'm just putting another stone bracer to get some vision. Okay. Well... I'm researching power uh, houses, and that's the last thing I'm gonna do here until we're saving money and saving uh, stone as well. I'm gonna leave this archer here to protect the storm bracer. Our defenses are under attack. What now? Okay. Speak. Well, now we're kind of just chilling. We have 40 stone. I'm going to do a cheeky thing here. And I'm going to take this big 16 stone here. Since we have taken the area. I shall leave. And we're doing good with money. <clears throat> so I'm building a farm here. Upgrade okay, that's complete. a very bad farm. So we're gonna do a farm here instead. Get on with it. Okay, we're gonna lose that gathering hut, but it's fine. I'm taking this guy down just to be able to place the farm and My this is fine because empty. that means we're placing a farm here instead I make the call. and this is the last thing yes. I know I'm contradicting myself a little bit but that's the last thing we're doing we have decent enough gold income the main thing is usually the stone. What do you want? Okay. This seems to be some prime area down here. So this is not foolproof, but what I usually do is I take, I stand Everything. near the thing, and I click attack. And I see where they run. 
We all we have maxed out stone and uh, wood, so I'm gonna do HP for melee, which is like hardly. Speak. And it doesn't it doesn't even make a dent here. I shall leave. So now I'm pushing towards, and I see this. So since this is here, you call. Okay, so there is a artillery spider here. I don't even know what they're called. Maybe someone in chat knows. I just call them spiders. So you can't build too close to this. So I'm gonna back up here. I'm two steps ahead of you. And I'm gonna start placing powers. So this has a bit of natural protection. You dare here. question me. You dare question me. And now we're just. Ready. Shielding here, building. Let's start clearing out this way. Yeah, mortar spiders. Yeah. It's kind of the same. Artillery spiders, mortar spiders, spiders. Yeah. So, five or six. I usually go for six, but for this wave, I think you... On the first wave on veteran, I don't know really, but I... I think you can manage by four, actually, but I don't know. <laughs> that's not that's not as catchy, by the way. Okay, I built farms, so I kind of misplayed a little bit with how much pop I have. So fuck it, I'm upgrading this because I have time. It's all like, like the build isn't set in stone, so depending on which resources you find, how far ahead you are, you can do deviations, for sure. Like, it's not set in stone, you can do deviations, like, both ways. Sometimes when I don't find iron, until wave two, like, for wave two, in, uh, when I play on the super hard difficulty, I have to just, like, fuck it, and I try, I have to do, like, Five or six ballistas with like uh, probably fourteen archers with the like double upgrade uh, here. So double upgrade here and like fourteen archers to take the second wave because on the difficulty I play the, the second wave has a crusher. You know the big stolen golems. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where did all our archers go? One is there. Upgrade complete. W one is here. I'm losing one. What is it? I'm I'm a noob. How can I see them? Where is it? Give it. I don't know. He's lost. He's like in an uh, extra dimension somewhere. I never like find it normally. Like, like I just leave it be. You mean another point of interest? We're not gonna push down and take that because, yeah, it's not worth the hassle. And we're gonna do a uh, stone bracer. And another tower. I shall leave. Okay, so now we're cutting it a bit close with the walls because I'm getting a bit hubris here and we only have five and I said we wanted six. So, it's fine because we're gonna get six no matter what. Because we can build one if needed back here during the actual wave. Double or triple wave. Uh... I mean, double or triple line with the walls, it doesn't really matter. The more you have, the easier it gets, because they have to chop it down.
Let's see if we have to rebuild. Okay, it hits at the right place. So, the lightning here, as the crystal dest gets destroyed, the lightning in the Death Veil shows you where it will hit. You see here, for example, I can't build any closer to this uh, Nightmare Elite. Uh, elite Nightmare. So that's why I chose to be a little bit above. So, has I miss, have I missed anything important, chat? So far. <laughs> We're gonna wait for the next money tick. We have so much stone, I'm getting the second uh, archer upgrade. This guy is fucking a bit with us, so we're gonna focus him. And I'm placing the last ballista. I don't know, am I doing the full run or am I just doing it until wave 2 and 3 for this uh, tutorial? Because the later parts are kind of whatever. So you want to focus down these uh, spiders. And then after you do that, you need to focus down the axe boys. Okay, these guys are getting a bit hurt. So we're getting up here. Whatever. And we survived the wave. It depends on what difficulty. I normally do it on harder difficulties. I normally do it uh, one or two at wave. Uh, day, uh, I mean day five. So on my difficulty that I play on is normally, it's like when day two turns day three. I think. So day four or day five, I play as a fishing hut, and it helps in the beginning. But I keep for I just forget about them very early on. So for me, I just forget about them. So I would say it's easier to just mass houses and get the actual spec. If you have enough, let me say it like this: if you have enough space to build farms, so you have food enough that you're uh, content with, like you have enough food, I would say just rush what I'm about to do because I have the iron for it so just rush the treasury that they added and place the treasury next to your main housing like development area so if you have enough food and you don't need the food from the fishing huts it's so small because when they released the fishing huts it was it was 200 per click now it's 100 per click and that makes very little difference after day 10, I would say. So, we're done with the actual thing. Our are so, under we're gonna... Switch this out. And we're gonna do... A thingamajigs here to... Do the stuff. Okay, so here, um, pick upable resources are okay, not super good. Construction times, I would say, is like quality of life. It's not that good since we're trying to take over the entire map to build less stone bracers and stuff. I would say that the vision radius is better. I prefer vision radius here, but it's like, what do you like best kind of thing. So, now we're doing full-on eco build. Oh, we have an iron. That's crazy good. I have no mercy. It's very, like everything is map dependent. What you find, how much space you have, which resources you find. <laughs> but this is like a loose thing to get you thinking about like, what to prioritize. You don't need iron. I, I still don't need iron. I. 
on this difficulty, I don't need iron until like day 9. So if you choose how you play it, like, you don't really need it. But I think, like, getting your priorities straight makes a big difference in this game, like knowing what to prioritize and what not. My cup's almost empty. So I think that's the bigger thing than actually like prioritizing and seeing that you actually can push out you and be like a bit crazy. Your grace? So I'm upgrading houses now because what we want now I'm actually gonna delete this farm. Don't be mad, because I want this as a housing project. For me, I command you. Precisely. And what we're gonna do now to increase our uh, punching force? We're gonna finally, we're finally building a barracks. And another form to... And I'm key binding that to three, but that's just a personal preference, so that's whatever. And we're going up here because we're gonna place... Oh, let's use this little girly. You can stay down here and protect. Now I'm... F what I'm feeling now, so... I would say that... Once you have gotten past the first, like, hump. So now I'm just, like, I'm just, like, chilling right now. Because I have four day, uh, like, full days to just do whatever I want. Because I don't think there's any crushers on veteran on this difficulty. Uh, I'm just refilling my beer here to get some more nerves. For those people joining... I had to start drinking beer because of an official build order tutorial video for YouTube. I was nervous four hours before I started this because it's official, like I'm doing it kind of thing. <laughs> but since I'm just chilling, I'm in a good spot. What was I going to say? What was I talking about? I lost my train of thought. I don't know. I'm focusing on eco. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, that's right. That's fucking right. I, I just remember. So, since I'm this far ahead, and I'm ecoing, if you feel yourself that you're waiting for one specific resource, that's a problem. Do something about it. So, I'm capped with the wood. So, I'm gonna place this. Western That's what me. I was forgetting. So I'm gonna place this to get a lot more wood because the stone isn't used as much and the money income is kind of decent. As I <laughs> this is the first time for me, like, I don't even think I'm qualified and good enough to make a tutorial video, but some people in chat actually asked. So it, I, I guess it's up to everyone watching, either on Twitch or YouTube, to make up their own mind if I'm qualified enough to, to listen to. Listen to. Uh, I guess. I'm just doing it because some people wanted it. So we're doing one more farm here, and then we should be good with farms. Now we want more houses. Now the next goal here is we're going forge. And for Forge, we need 25 iron, I think it is. Yep. And 20 workers. And we have that. But since we're waiting for workers, that's gonna be more than enough. I'm gonna get some uh, archers to be able to clear out stuff. Hopefully, these guys will kill this guy. But probably not. 
So, I'm gonna do this so I can get through here. I'm saving this. It's always nice. So this is a thing that has killed me several times. Because I'm fucking stupid. When I started the game, and even now, I don't... When I'm playing on 7.1x, the waves come from each crystals every death knight, so that means you kinda need to keep your defense. But if you're not playing with that, if you're playing regular nightmare or anything below, for the last wave, when it hits from all the five crystals, it's always nice to leave a reminder where you defended the wave. So, if you don't, if you don't want to save the towers because you need the economy for some reason, do this. Do a marker. Okay, this is the thing. So. I'm doing it. I'm doing a couple of towers here. I'm, ready. I'm gonna try to kill the spear boy here what to get him out of the way. We can actually remove that. That was just I... to prove a point, kind of thing. And I think we're collecting some archers around here you guys go in start now start killing him nice he's going up here less nice he's fucking up my towers okay i don't think we're gonna be able to take him yet okay so we're backing up okay you go in there and fuck it, we're gonna take him once we get Arbalests. So, we have 30. Uh, what I forgot about now is to get the actual... What? Iron. Uh, now, the forge. So, I was like kinda lost in my train of thought, and I forgot to do the forge. But since, uh, what I said, like, there is room for error here. I'm gonna remove that to get some money back. Look at this, everybody. I have a new function, baby. Okay, so what's the best part of about living in Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> okay then. Hi. So we're gonna take the archers. We're gonna go down here, we're gonna go here. And this is not research yet, we can do a... Our defenses are under attack. <laughs> some more, we can do some more of the archers here. You see, I'm capping out here, like I have too much resources. Oh, by the way, for people that are interested, if you're a subscriber or up, in like roles if i say something funny that you think is funny you can use exclamation mark add quote and then spacebar like a blank and then write the quote that i said and it will be saved in a quote database automatically and people can write exclamation mark quote to get a random quote back just if anyone what? thinks that fun that's fun So, now we're just waiting for the actual thing. Upgrade complete. And I'm gonna do another storehouse because I can. Ecoing is always good. And I'm placing the forge. And the reason I'm getting the forge is we need arbalists. And... Rip warehouse. Okay. So, removing that archer wasn't the best idea. But, uh, fuck it. Let's do this while... Just because we can. Here. And we re rebuild. 
So no no run is perfect. Now you're gonna get stupid shit. That affects you. That's just how it is. I shall okay. lead. We have enough here. So it's all mine anyway. Let's see. We can actually also do the melee upgrade here. Let's do the Okay, we can't. We need uh, resources. Empty. Rip. Upgrade complete. With me. So, do people think I should do a full run for this tutorial or just like stop it at wave 3 or something when the crushers come? I think I can stop it at when the crushers come, right? And do a normal run afterwards. Because I think the the beginning is the hardest part. I don't know, I've never done a video like this before. For me. <laughs> Everything. And keeping the spiders busy like this is very As good. Okay, so this is a dead end. Nice. So we're just clearing this shit and we're placing a stone bracer. Now we can do the upgrade As to get another more storage and we can get more gold income. Oh, there? <laughs> That's mine. And we continue to eco. I shall leave. Make the call. What now? This is done. I'm control fouring it, so I have it on a hotkey. You mean your grace? And we're gonna continue Precisely. down here. So what we're doing now is we're researching arbalest, and since we're researching arbalests. I'm gonna start placing towers with my actual archers because my archers I don't I don't care about them anymore. They're just gonna defend weird places. What we're gonna try to focus now is the treasury. ahead of you with me we we'll just dance around a little bit here saving the HP of your character and this is a dead end as well. In dead ends, I usually place a stone bracer. We can't do it because this is active. Now we can. Empty. And we can't get that gold, so fuck it. Ahead. So that's one less, like Research one place complete. less to defend. So we're doing that. We're not gonna push there. We're gonna push there. This is a dead end. It's whatever. I'm this ready. guy goes in here. Here we can get some free clear and do that. Die. That guy kills them. Them. Upgrade complete. You guys run up. And do a okay farm here. Yes. And we're gonna take. Let's take two archers here, actually. Okay, so Tracking. let's we're gonna go up and clear a bit here. We research, so now we're producing arbalists. I don't have the money income to have two barracks to produce arbalists in, so I don't care about that. We're gonna make a couple, then we're gonna save here, save the money to get the bang. We're gonna clear from a distance. They're gonna push up to the tower. I'm gonna go up here and try to defend it. For honor and 
duty. So you mean your grace? I'm on it. Oh, actually, I'm gonna back up and try to push against where this wave hit. I don't even know where these guys are heading. They're heading there. Okay, we're losing this. It's fine, no big deal. Daybreak approaches. Your bidding. Keep drinking beer. That's important. The heart. You can unlock this guy, but I feel like, for me. It's enough to dance around with the hero normally, unless you go very far out in the outskirts. <laughs> Everything. I'm gonna place this guy up here for extra defense. We're gonna start clearing it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy that guy here at the next night. So I'm building some towers to do it easier. Actually, we're doing that. Just trying to get some money for the for the bank now because we're money capped. Stone and iron. My terms. We kind of need gold, though. For me. For honor and duty. Okay, we can do the bank. So upgrading you that. Just keep pushing out. It's all mine anyway. Okay, the archers. We're moving them. Not that we care that much about the archers. We're doing a split push here. Okay, we got hit by that, but that's fine. As I planned. Doing stone bracer here. I'm gonna push this. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go here. I shall lead. Dodging, attacking. With me. Nice. I'm gonna leave one there to just protect it. Upgrade complete. Okay, that's done. I'm two steps ahead of you. Okay. Ah, I lost the thing. And I'm blocked in. Whatever. Fuck. So let's keep the archers there and let them handle that. Go back down here. Build more stone. <laughs> That's mine. So now our buildings are under attack. Just gonna put them on hold. It's no, we're not. Mine, we're gonna go past here quick to go here. You can stay here and defend the tower. I see. You guys go in here. 
because you guys are gonna kill the big boy. And My nice. Almost empty. Just doing this because I can. Oh, so this guy's dead already. So we're doing this. My eyes are yours. So we're gonna push this iron to get that as well. And we're gonna do the treasury I was gonna say, but I guess not. We're upgrading the houses. We're building some more houses here. To get to be able to do the treasury thing. I shall leave. Am I missing anything, chat? What we want to do now is, since we have arbalests, since we have arbalests, we're gonna do bellow towers because bellow towers are the new meta. At least before the last wave. It's good to mix it up, I think, but like early on. Go Bellow Towers. It's so strong, it's insane after they buffed it. Our defenses are under attack. Okay, they can just stay there. So, we got the trickery. It's fine. It's nice. We're building some houses here. Hello! As I command. No, it's not. I am only... I'm doing a build order tutorial for YouTube at the moment. Uh, so I'm playing pretty... Uh, on a kind of easy difficulty. Precisely. So I'm trying to go through what I do and why I do it. Okay, so we have the treasury. We want to upgrade farms as well here. But since we don't have it yet, I'm gonna place like regular farms. So don't be scared to expand. You mean you might lose it after a while if you haven't defended with the tower like I did. As I but who the fuck cares? You just fill it up because you're gonna get worth out of it for like several. Uh... Yeah, exactly. So bellow towers don't get affected by the hazy sky. Precisely. And that's also a big reason to go that, uh, like, if you don't think you have a strong enough army, thank you for the comment by the way, and welcome Albi. If you don't think you have a strong enough army to just tank the armies, like the, the wave with your army strength, kinda, bellow towers baby. And we're gonna upgrade farm, because I keep forgetting I'm saying what I want to do, but then I keep forgetting. So now we're almost at map edge. And you want to push to map edge, you want to find the gold. I think we're like one wave ahead of what we need to do at the moment. But like gold, like, the more you expand, the faster you do it, the easier everything gets. That's just how it is. For me. <laughs> I'm gonna play harder after the tutorial uh, thing. Okay, so there's new people here, I'm gonna say it. I've never done an official video, like for YouTube or anything. So I got nervous four hours before I even started streaming and I had to get beer to like calm my nerves because it's like I'm stressed. Because I want to do it well, I want to help people get better at the game, and I don't want to do it bad. <laughs> and, I don't think I'm really qualified to do a tutorial video, but uh, some people in chat seem to think I am, so I guess I'm doing it. I'm 
Two steps ahead of you. So we're gonna kill this. Just dance around. Dance around the maypole. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna play all the way through though on the tutorial thing. I think I'm gonna play you mean to wave three or four, uh, unless people think I should continue on. So let's see. The farm is still upgrading. We have some stuff, so we just upgrade some houses for better income here. We can do it even more now. And soon we're gonna upgrade the uh, actual I, things. We want a bigger pushing force. I so we're gonna get leave. Arbalests and we're gonna get some... Uh, big boys complete. here. But we're gonna start with Arbalests. Yeah, in, yeah, but I'm talking about harder difficulties as well, and why I play I uh, this way. But uh, yeah, it's like up until wave two or three. When you have this, like the bellow towers and the siege ballistas, then it's kind of done. Then you just expand. I'm gonna play until I get siege ballistas and take wave three probably. I make the call. So well, let's start upgrading some farms. Let's check if there's a farm that's decent enough. Let's just do these. Whatever. As I command. What's the plan? For honor and duty. So, keep upgrading some farms here, get better money income, it's fine, we're killing them, this tower is about to fall, so we're gonna place some walls here for better defense. Checking down here so we don't die with this. We have enough, so I'm doing Upgrade another complete. damage. Yes, your grace. So, everyone doing fine today? Bring her out of the way. Moving this out of the way. Our buildings are under Dancing attack. around a little bit. As I and we got hit by stuff. I shall lead. And they're just running straight through. Let's do a couple of these boys. In position. Okay, let's actually unlock this now. Ready for action. Just buy some time, get these guys out doing this. Sir. I think I lost the Narbalest here. So that's kind of bad. Well, we don't need these anymore, so we're going back. Oh, I forgot about this. Ready. So what you can do if you're a bit uh, scared, you go Bello For Towers. Me. <laughs> Everything. 
we are going to go back here. Your bidding. Once again, going there. And I think we have an extra archer. Yes, we do. Let's go with the archer down here. Hello, Samintos! How are you? Upgrading. Upgrading. I'm fine. I'm nervous, though. I'm doing a build order tutorial video now for uh, YouTube because some people requested it and I, I had to drink beer to calm my nerves because it's feels so very official specifically doing a video for YouTube like telling people what is good to do and not <laughs> hopefully I didn't forget too much stuff okay so they go up here we have to be ready that that's not the case but looking Research here complete. I don't know this feels a bit walled off this is definitely not walled off but it's probably gonna be walled off like up here I would guess here so we're gonna push up guide my weapon I'm two steps ahead of you. Upgrade complete. By the way, if people didn't see it, write exclamation mark joke in chat and you will uh, it will make your day. So, we upgraded the bellow tower. We're doing one. This is a good joke because it's narrow. I don't think we need to care that much because uh, I don't think there's any crushers here now. But we're doing two stone towers. And we're doing a ballista behind it. The main thing to have for this wave, I think, is maybe one bellow tower. On veteran, at least. One bellow tower. If you have one bellow tower, you have two or three arbalests in a tower. And you have stone walls. You're set. You're 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 fine. Your command. What's the plan? Okay, I'm actually gonna wait with walling the stone wall until I see that it's uh, it's actually here. So I'm putting these guys in here. We are... Yes, We're clearing out this, I think. But we can uh, get some more arbalists. The land trembles. So we need to eco more. Oh, okay. Maybe we not do that. We don't do that many arbalists. We want some money I for when the we see where the wave hits. Keep clearing. For honor and duty. Oh, they destroyed my iron. So this will have to get removed, actually. Fuck. Because that's blocking everything. That's pro gamer for you right there. It goes up. Okay, then we're at the right place. So now we can build the wall. Let's be like Donald Trump. Let's build the wall. It hits here, it's gonna go down here. Fine. Our defenses are under attack. Okay. And if you wanna be super safe, you do another bellow tower. Let's do it just because we can. Not attack range, no. It's building range and it's mainly it's mainly for the bracers, so I don't have to put out 
as many of them and they become better to scout with. On this difficulty, on this difficulty I would say that it's easy enough to just clear the map and look for resources with the army, but on harder difficulties you might want to see where you're sacrificing your time to push with the limited army you have and then the vision of placing them like if I were to place it here in a safe area I would see more here so I see is it worth for me spending my time grinding outwards out of my uh, line of defense to go, go there like you really need iron or you're like capped on like you don't have any stone like you have super little stone like you only have 40 plus stone or something then then it becomes more important was that a sufficient enough answer For me. <laughs> so now we just keep producing units here we're gonna do one of these soon though So this wave ain't even gonna come close to me. I, I I would be doubtful that they even break like the inner part of the wall. That would surprise me a lot. Because we have overspecced so hard. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Like, when I play and I learn the games, I just, I never watch anyone else, I just do what feels okay, so I'm not saying my way is the best way, but maybe I can get people thinking about stuff out of the box that they normally don't do. What do you mean, early soldier push? On this difficulty, on harder difficulties. I already went through that, like... You can take the first one or two waves. On this difficulty at least, but one wave at least. So one or two waves you can take with only units. It's fine. But... I think it's like, easier... If you actually go with the tower, like the bellow towers and the ballistas, because that leaves your army free to push with stone bracers during the night, and you are already taking to the next level of good units, you have easier to transition into a tech to get better units and better defenses naturally. Uh, and the thing is, like, on lower difficulties, you can do the soldier archer push quite easy. On harder difficulties, it's, it, it becomes harder to transition into teching. So, I work with climbing, okay? So, there is, like, I'm gonna do, uh, what's it called? A metaphor. Are you ready for the metaphor? <laughs> I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna show you. Now it's now it's really overkill here. So, since I think the the one thing works better at the higher difficulties, when I'm teaching people how to belay, like hold the rope for someone who's climbing. So if someone, there is like, there is two different. Uh, devices that you belay with one with a break and one without a break okay you're with me so far yeah so when you pull the rope so the rope gets flexed for the one who's climbing you pull the rope, you go down. Then you need to take down this hand, put, put up the right hand close to the device that you're belaying with, and then back to the position that you were in. But, 
when people use the one with the brake, if, if this hand is the device, they put this hand super close to the device. If you do that with the one that has the brake, it's no problem. But if you put the hand this close to the device that belays without the brake, if the person falls, you're gonna get stuck with the uh, skin, probably, in the device, and it hurts like a motherfucker. So, what I say... So, now is the point. I'm coming to the point now. The point I'm trying to make. If you can do it in one scenario, but you can't do it in the other scenario, or it's not as optimal in the other scenario, it's better to learn the way that works with both. Instead... Instead of having to relearn it again. So what you want is like four centimeters away. And if they do that with the belaying device that has the brake, it's no problem if they switch to the one without the brake. So if you do the tech, uh, the tech build with the towers on earlier difficulties, even though you can go soldiers and archers, it gets easier on dif uh, diffi uh, more difficult uh, difficulties because you have learned the way that are quicker to take to better units. Yeah, you use use the hardest belaying device or the worst belaying device. Correct, then it's no problem. Even if you go to an easier belaying device. And not use the easier belaying device one way and having to relearn everything again. Does that make any sense? Like, I'm usually better with metaphors in Swedish in, than English, but does that make any sense? <laughs> I tried to make it as clear as possible. For me, I'm not saying it is better, but I, I'm having a harder... I, I'm having more problems switching to tech from a unit build between waves than just going tech and then units when I can. So I'm doing tech and towers and then I'm doing units in between kind of thing. Does it make any sense? Did my point come through? Our buildings are under attack. So, like I said, this wave barely scratched the walls. So we're just we're just going here. Well, like I say, like I said, that's what works for me, and like I know that I have troubles transitioning in from a unit build because the thing you need to think about with the unit build that if you go units very early, that's another point. I'm pausing to lower the vo uh, the sound. If you go units very early, you will have less money income because the units cost uh, a lot to upkeep. With the towers, you just delete the towers after the wave, like a couple of them. But you don't need to do as many towers as you do units. I don't know what the upkeep of the actual towers are though. So let's check. Is there any upkeep? I don't see any upkeep on them, so that's a big thing, like... Just specking a lot of units Sweet. will fuck up your upkeep. <laughs> exactly. So that's a very important thing to keep in mind, I would say. I would say that that makes a big difference. In the early game, you want money. So, let's upgrade some farms here. Sorry for the long, uh, long, uh, extremely long explanation, but 
I'm hoping it it came across well. So we're doing a tank, so we have at least one. We're running out of iron, so we can pick up these scraps. So here, last stand is okay. Night watch, I kinda don't care about because it's such small amounts. What's rigged? <laughs> so I'm go yeah, I'm gonna do rig defenses because rig defenses is new and they're gonna break your walls no matter what. So that's extra damage in the like you don't gonna you're not gonna need it probably that much until. Uh, until what's it called until the last last wave but it will help in the last last wave okay I'm I'm like three beers in and I'm starting to get less nervous. That's a good thing. I haven't really used that strat. Upgrade complete. But yeah, spam wood walls for kaboom. The thing you need to think about though. Let's see. The thing I don't know. Yeah, the thing I don't know about this blessing is for me, logically, it should be it does. It has a 60% chance to do AOE damage from a fraction of the building's HP. If it does the same amount of damage, no matter what building or what wall it is, then it's OP as fuck and it should be nerfed. <laughs> uh, but if it's percentual from with which... Yeah, exactly. Then it's stupid. Then it should be nerfed, and they probably will nerf it, so considering they probably will nerf it a little bit, and like, for me, it's like super weird if they don't do it damage depending on the amount of max hit points of the building. Uh, so that, at the moment, is probably a super st strong strat. And Bellow Towers... I don't think Bellow Towers needs to be nerfed damage-wise. I think Bellow Towers needs to have one or one and a half more seconds. Say say one one or two more seconds between the booms. I think that would that would even it out. That would make it more balanced. What do you guys think about that? I think that's the better option. They can be as strong as they are. But I think it has to be a, do a bigger downtime. So now we're just gonna take over as much of property as we can. You dare question me. My cup's almost empty. Really nice that so many many people are tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And Yuba, write exclamation mark joke in chat. I have a new function. Okay, my nervousness is about to stop. Okay, let's see. A blind man walks into a bar and a table and a chair and some people. <laughs> you mean I have selected all the jokes, by the way. I have selected them all to meet the high standard of being a dad. I shall lead. <laughs> At the moment, I have 60 jokes. 
we're gonna go up and take that small gold here. And we're gonna continue to eco. Just pushing. Gonna do a tower where it's safer. Let's dance with the character. Avoid the shit. You guy, you go tank. Okay, we got hit, but that's fine. Undoubtedly. And I also added another function, so anyone who's a subscriber or above can add quotes to a quote database by writing exclamation mark, add quote, and then a blank, and then the actual quote. If you hear me saying something funny and take it out of context, feel free to go ham. For me. <laughs> okay, they're getting stuck here. That's you annoying. I was like, why aren't my units coming up here? Okay, I'm losing a little bit of units here. That's not good. Let's, let's dance around. You don't... <laughs> what does a sprinter eat before a race? Nothing they fast. Um, you dare me. I'll leave it for the American to explain. You Lithium, you're up. Your grace. Go. NA power, engage. No. <laughs> On my terms. Fasting is when you don't eat anything to lose weight. And they fast. They are fast. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Your Grace. Our defenses are under attack. So, let's continue with... ...this. I shall lead. Uh, okay. We're, we're advancing a bit with the technology here. Now it's like, you can do it when you feel like it's necessary, kinda, to expand this shit. As I command. I command you. <laughs> I'm too Double meanings, ahead. baby! <laughs> Okay, actually, I'm doing this. It's taking too long. Control one. For me. <laughs> Everything. You played horrific, and on the final wave, two waves ended up hitting the same route at the north and another two at the south, and hazy skies, malice. I personally don't think hazy skies should be removed. I think it should be changed. Okay, so I want your honest opinion on this. Hazy Skies should be at wave 3 or 4-5. Not 1-2, but uh, like uh, uh, end game Malice. And it should either reduce the vision range by 20% or reduce the damage by 30. Not, not, not both, either or. That's what I think. My cup's almost empty. Yeah. 20% range or 30% damage. That's okay for me. I think that's good. What do you guys think about my thing here? Yeah, 30% damage reduction or 20% range. Our buildings are under attack. Upgrade complete. I see. Uh, 
I have another opinion with that if you're interested. So Okay, so in the what's it called? The siege workshop. Have we researched that yet, by the way? No. Okay, so we're researching the siege workshop. It's an end game tier thing. So in that siege workshop, I would like to have uh, a flag carrier or something, a unit. It can be mechanical unit, it can be a person. I don't fucking care. And it should be expensive. And it should be expensive and within the range of that flag carrier or drummer boy or whatever, like morale booster kind of unit, within a specific area of where that person is standing, it would negate malices. So if you have that in your tower line, when you have a malice, it would negate it. Maybe not permanently, but you could maybe have, like, you press a skill. So when you press the skill, in that area of effect, for one and a half minutes, malices are negated. That w I would like that. I think that would be cool. And if they add that, I would comp- like, I would sing the little drummer boy song a lot. Precisely. Now we're just massing units here. Yeah, maybe a hero support you. That's upgrade complete. Okay, so the way to kill this is not to run in. Okay, so I whiffed a little bit, but it was kind of planned. So don't. Uh, yeah, that was planned. Okay. Stop distracting me, chat. Fucking chat, just messing with my video here. I blame shot. Spit it out already. I heard you the first time. I saw it, Saku. Fuck you. Okay, we're working our way to edge of map here. Okay, so we have found a crystal. Without we're not going to go here and take that crystal. So, we're going to go down instead. Yes, you're we're going to check somewhere else. So, we're going to do this, defend that bit, whatever, Hello. and we're going to take our army and we're going to bail. And we're going to go here instead. The crystals give you extra damage permanently. My eyes are yours. They're trying to grief me. Your command. Helpful chat. So if for those people who don't know, if you kill a crystal, the wave is gonna come immediately. So, let's see. We have unlocked the thing. So, we need 40 workers. We we just, we haven't echoed at all here. So, we're gonna do more units. We're looking for gold. 
Hug the crystal. Have sex with it. So next wave is gonna be crushers. And what you want to have is arbalists. And we have Arbalists, so we're fine. Upgrade complete. Our defenses are under attack. Yep. Arbalists in powers, and if you want to be really safe. If you want to be really safe, you can push out and take this to get this. That's 50% extra damage while in towers. Which is still good. They nerfed it, but it's still good. I'm gonna take the next wave I think and then I'm gonna call the tutorial and I'm gonna speak to the um, ballista things here yeah maybe it is but if you have bellow towers it doesn't fucking matter though Yeah, double damage. That was really good. I missed the good old days. Break them. Ah, my units. Our buildings are under attack. Okay, we have to bail. No. Okay, we're gonna take that with towers Hello. instead. Let's eco instead. So, we need gold. Like, it's going a bit slow, specking here, like uh, ecoing, because we don't have any gold. Yeah. It will be done. I'm gonna talk about another thing soon when we get to the siege workshop here. We just need some money. Upgrade complete. So now, now I, I kinda don't care about defending uh, my stuff because I'm this far out, so I'm just going ham, placing shit. But I'm comfortable here. What you can do is like leave if you want, like one orbalist at the uh, brazers. We're trying to find some gold here. We have some gold here, so we might as well just place this to get some more gold. And now we're pushing. Our defenses are under attack. And I'm pushing like the outskirts area. Guide 
because weapon. the gold is more easily found out here. We have very little iron. It's enough for this difficulty, not to try to bash this difficulty. It feels like I'm I'm bashing the difficulty over and over, but I'm not. <laughs> For honor and duty. No and gold here. Okay, we're going in here. Uh, you have the talent to have a harder time finding gold veins once I've reached the edge of the map. Really? On which difficulty do you play? Because on Nightmare and Beyond, I feel like there is no gold veins at all if you're if you're not hugging the walls. Unseen, unheard. Yeah, that's. I have uh, almost have that had that. Happen. All right, all right. For honor and duty. I think I don't know. I just the thing I've heard is that on higher difficulties, I don't know how about the amount of gold spawned but i think it's like uh, Our defenses are under attack. if you play on lower difficulties they can be closer to your main base but if you play on higher difficulties it is more pu it's pushed out to the more to the edges of the map that's what i've heard Yeah, I think on Nightmare and Beyond, I think, I think uh, there is stuff way more out uh, in the in the thing, like like this. Whoop. Now we're cooking. Buildings are under attack. Keep upgrading, keep echoing. Okay, so we're gonna start a new housing Should complex here. We're doing a treasury here. Your bidding? I'm too lazy to handle or deal with that. And we're kind of fine with this being like it is. So we're doing this. And we want to find the research soon, the better things. Upgrade complete. The better mines.
711. And a storehouse. And we haven't even used the bazaar. Use the bazaar. I'm super bad. Because I keep forgetting about it. So I'm kind of a noob player. So don't listen to me. I'm doing a tutorial, but don't listen to me. The bazaar, yes, your grace. it's okay. Like, I don't think it's worth the money, like, early game. Because you can spend the money on better things, I feel like. Some people might disagree. But, like, somewhere mid-game-ish, I feel like it, it pays for itself. Hey, don't start crash talking me. So let's continue to eco here. Boom. Boom. Your bidding. Yeah. So we have more gold here. It's not the biggest gold, but it's nice. Let's do it then, so people don't like, complain too much. Well, I'm awake now. Spit it out already. On my way. Upgrade complete. You spin me right round, baby, right round. My eyes are yours. Getting some red here. Ah! But I'm comfortable here. I don't need the hero. So the hero is kind of redundant, so... Only like... Uh, ah! I misclicked! Whoops. Uh, the hero is just like a trophy wife. You have seen like the Hollywood wife, so something something. So the hero is kind of like a Hollywood wife. Like it's there, but you don't really need it. Pro gamer tip. Number one. Only looters use the hero. My eyes are yours. I forgot. Did I build the... Uh... <laughs> I actually forgot. Did I build the siege workshop? I'm On talking too much. I think I did. Our defenses are under attack. Here. Nice. Oh, I even keybound it. Lol. I even keybound it. Your orders. You can't you can't uh, warehouse uh, sh uh, stack anymore from what I have heard. I, ha I haven't tried it to be honest, like because I don't like to cheese, but right. from what I have heard, you, they removed it. Upgrade complete. Oh yeah. You can't place a storehouse next to a storehouse within the ef working effect kind of thing. The area of effect.
Go! Okay, so it's close to the third wave. And... You again. We have decent gold income. Since we have bellow towers, I'm not gonna bother with the bellow towers yet. I'm gonna do impalers. Because we're gonna try to get some more red. And we're gonna go impalers uh, with stun. So the w thing you want with impalers and siege equipment is the stun. In my opinion. I have to add that, probably. Stun is, like, the best shit ever. Okay, but that's too much work. Even if you can stack it like that, that's too much work. I'm lazy. The thing you need to learn is I'm lazy. By your will. That's too much work for too little effort, like, uh, benefit. Do I have more units to pick up somewhere? No? Okay then. Um, we're doing the upgrade fortified keep. Just keep echoing like a crazy person. What? It's too close. We can't take this iron. Okay, we can take that. Oh, we have more gold. Okay, so now we have some siege equipment already, so I'm doing range, AoE, range, but we need some wood for that. I'm listening. Boom. What? Shoot it! Ah, mistakes were made. I thought they would shoot. They're too fucking slow. So that is how not to do it with those guys. I just wanted to showcase how not to do that. So I'm gonna go clear up a bit here first. So I'm just placing two, two or three random towers. Whoop, sit easy. And then we don't do something stupid here. We, sp we split them, we do this, we run, we go back. These guys will go will up here. Done. Just keep e e going here. Yes, I'm gonna get this gold. Waiting for a gold tick. So I feel like this is not as much as a tutorial anymore. I'm just gonna go until I take the next wave here. I think I've gone through... Did I? Did you guys think I missed anything? Or did you think I covered like most of the bases? Uh, with like what a person struggling could get help from. Like I said, like, this is how I like to play it, and I have stuff that I don't do because I have a trouble of... Like I said, like, I don't go units first because on higher difficulties I have troubles transitioning out of it. If you don't have a problem transitioning out of it with a higher military upkeep, 
then then do it. Like I'm not saying my way is the correct way. I'm just saying my way works for me. And I I know that I'm a bit wonky, so maybe it's only for me that it works. But I don't know. Upgrade <laughs> complete. So we kind of want to. We kind of want to kill this this guy if we can. You this guy, I hate this guy. Yeah, let's kill these guys and try to take him so we get an upgrade here. This is not good. So we want the red here. To make it even easier on this uh, wave. We don't have any stone, so that's uh, a problem. So we're lacking stone Our income at the moment. I'm just messing around here, so that's less than optimal. We should be fine during the wave anyway. this guy can we please kill this guy why is he out of range why is he being an asshole my eyes are yours nice okay so we got the red here selling this shit We have enough, so I would say, since we don't have that many impalers, I'm not gonna upgrade the impalers all the way. What's the plan? We're gonna go this way and clear it to do it. We're gonna do the towers, extra damage in towers, if you feel like you can also go like the chat said. You can also go uh, fire arrows. It's like whatever, but I feel like it, it it feels better to have double damage in because you're so dependent on the arbalets to kill the crushers. Well, I'm awake now. So like you have enough AOE with the bellow towers. Okay, we're capped on stone. The fuck? Okay, upgrade. How do I cycle through my stone things? Is... Guide my weapon. So, I think this wave will hit up here somewhere. Upgrade complete. I'm just pushing this way too far, by the way. My eyes are yours. I'm gonna have to stress build and we don't have any stone, so this is a bit rough. So we might actually die here on Veteran, which would be very embarrassing for me. Right. Again, not bashing the difficulty, but it, it would be.
Really trying not to be condescending because that's not what I want. What? For me. Lol. Hello. <laughs> Everything. Oh, that? <laughs> That's mine. What? Are they actually going down here? Okay then. That's a bit weird. I have no idea, we might actually die to this. Well, I'm too busy talking shot, uh, shit to shot. I'm blaming shot. I'm blaming you, Lithium. I'm blaming you in particular. It's not here. Fuck. It's up here. It's up here. That's not good. Our buildings are under attack. So someone asked when the panic was. No, it is. Yeah, we can't because there is people here, but yeah. So why are you guys wa wanting to go that way? Okay, they're just boxed in. Of course, I'm gonna cut the video here, okay? I'm not gonna have this in the tutorial video. I'm gonna cut this. I'm just gonna cut it, right? I'm gonna cut this. This is what can happen. Our defenses are under attack. Okay, they still want to go. Why? Why don't they want to go to the simple area? Your bidding? Like, just walk backwards. How hard can it be? It's not locked off. God damn it. Ah, we're fine with the bellow towers though. Yeah, I'm just cutting and say like an end the screen. We won. And then finish. Are we b Oh, they can actually follow directions. On my way. It's just me being preoccupied like I don't need to spam wood. It's fine. I don't need. 
It's okay. Don't rush me. Okay, they're running the correct way now. Nice. It's okay, my friend. I have time. I have all the time in the world. What's the plan? You don't need to stress. Yeah. Are under Probably. Upgrade complete. Just annoying. That's, this is what I mean, like you have a lot of like time to react in this difficulty. This is not my best run, by the way. Okay, and we survived it. Yep, okay. So, we survived it. Let's go. Let's see if we can find some stone here to upgrade. Yes, your grace. Can we do this? 18 stone. Yeah. Let's do our buildings are under attack. What's all here? I don't have any stone income whatsoever. Kill him, kill him. Done. Okay, sell. Let's go. And let's go back. So, do I end the tutorial video here? Do I uh, do a harder run? Or do I keep going? What do people think? Is this enough for the tutorial? It's a two hour tutorial, fuck me. No one's gonna listen to this. No one's gonna even listen to this tutorial anyway, because it's fucking two hours long. I thought like, it's gonna be like 40 minutes. I'm taking a piss, then we're doing uh, harder stuff.